Okay, so right here, he's coming forward, I'm stuffing the head, I get my seatbelt. I walk around, he balls up, he balls up. So now, when I drop on my side, he tries to hurry to get back to his knees. I drop him, my leg is between the legs. He tries to hustle and turtle, so I can't get hooks. All I needed was this. Now, drive the knee inside, he tries to pull me to his chest, hook goes in. Now I extend, two hooks, attack the neck, and it's all over. Let's do this. All right. You ready, Jesse? I'm ready. All right. All right. Teach me grappling, everyone. No. <laughs> Come on. You try to. You All right. You have to say with All confidence. Right. Teach me grappling, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. We got some good stuff to show you. Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Brian Peterson. I got Jesse Strader here. He's working on his skills with YouTube. This is just my way of doing it. I'll All right. Up. Check it out. We're going to go to the uh, Take in the Back again, part of our Back Attack series. Um, he's on the all fours. Guys, again, remember, defend the person from taking you down. Not everybody turtles like a baby. So when people turtle, they go down in here, they hide, hide, hide. Yeah, you can just spin behind them, you know, but come on, let's get real. In a street fight, you guys are just gonna beat them up. And boom. So we have to know how to fight somebody who's attacking us, who's in this position. Cover their head, swear, scroll. Then I lock a seatbelt. I break him down and I lock a seatbelt. Okay? Once I lock the seatbelt, I've got the proper grip. He's trying to grab my legs. I use my hips. I don't let him. As I walk around, I would love, 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 come on over here, to get crucifixes. Crucifix is huge. We've got to go into crucifixes, guys. Get to that crucifix, pull the person over, and get you our chokes here. But that's not what we're doing tonight. The reason being, I already have a crucifix video. Go ahead and check that out. It's on the channel. Teach me grappling, crucifix. You can find tons of crucifix stuff. We're gonna go here, hips. Once I get towards the guy's back, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift my weight, dropping my right knee, so you can come around over here. So I was here. Next, I'm gonna drop my right knee, and I'm gonna step my left foot between his legs. Right here. Now, there's a space for me right now, so I drop my foot there. In wrestling, we do this. This is, on the West Coast, we call an Iowa ride, okay? Ankle hook, whatever. This is a great way to keep a guy down in a wrestling match. One of the drawbacks of doing this is a guy will roll and take your back, or excuse me, grab a knee back. So, if you do that, you might be exposing yourself. You always want to be aware. I don't recommend you do it like this, but you could if you like. Just be aware, especially if you don't have a hold of a guy. So my upper body control is really, really important. If I have my seatbelt, I want to bring my knee in, and now I'm going to cave in on my right side. Hey guys, can you guys keep it down just a little bit? Oh, it was you guys. Go ahead, carry on. I thought it was my boys in the song. Anyway, sorry for the interruption. I'm here, I drop the knee inside, I cave in, and now go ahead and circle around. Check it out. So, once I'm here, he's trying to pull his knees to his chest. Pull that right knee to your chest. Yeah, see that? He can't pull his right knee to his chest because my left leg is holding the ankle down here, okay? Now I can straighten my leg and put my hook in. And put your hook in, just like so. Boom, put your hook in. Once you're there, you wanna take that leg out, put it on the mat, and hip escape. Okay, don't be too far away, Maria. Make sure close enough. And then once I'm here, now I have good position, I look for the two hooks. Okay, but if you notice, I can't get the two hooks. He's all balled up. That's not good for me. I keep my right foot now deep in the crotch. Okay, the right foot is deep in the crotch. You wanna to be touching the taint with your heel. Okay, hope that made you guys laugh. Then I'm gonna go for a lock and lock my ankles. See that? I get a good seatbelt and then I get full extension out of his body. 
Once I get full extension, he's trying to bring his left knee to his chest. I'm not allowing it. I'm keeping his body extended. His left knee will come as much as he can. As I hold him at bay, I relax my left leg and I swing and put my hook in. If his elbow's blocking me, I might even go like that. It may even trap and go over. If he tries to block your leg, like block it, push it away. It's a little hand fight game and you'll eventually get it inside, okay? But you've gotta get him extended. If he's balled up, good luck. You're never gonna get the hooks. So when he's balled up right here, another idea is control the hand, threaten the choke, and then extension, and then go. That can also help you, okay? But you wanna understand the idea of extending his body, and then when his knee is coming up, bring your knee up, good. Now I bring my hook in, and I go. All right, so let's do it again. So I'm here, I'm defending, seat belt. Okay, so he can't take me down, try to take me down. I'm using my hips, I'm not letting him in. There's my boys in the sauna. Guys, just keep it a little oh, bit yeah, down. Thank you. So once I'm here, I'm, I'm keeping my pressure. He can't come forward, just keep going. Try to take me down. Keep going, keep going. I'm just gonna wear him out. As I walk around, I put my left foot between the legs. See that? Right here. Now what if he's blocking it? He goes full turtle. Once he's going full turtle, watch what I'm gonna do. Put the shoulder on the back of the head. Over here, Maria. Shoulder on the back of the head. Boom, right there. And I'm gonna drop on my side. Once I do that, I get up on my elbow. So I'm on my right elbow now. Once I get up on my right elbow, I'm getting up, I'm keeping him here. If he tries to go back, you notice I'm already stepping on his ankle. Try to go back. I might feed my hook in now, like that. Once I feed this hook in, I will hip escape and get two hooks. If, during this movement, I can't get it in, let's say he's too quick to, to go to his knees, go to your knees, and he's too quick, at least I have my foot between his legs. So now when he tries to hike his legs close to his chest, I can drive my knee in, fall, and then again, notice I'm holding it with my ankle. You don't always have to have it like this, like all the way behind my knee, put your foot, yeah. I don't always have to have it like this, guys. I can also just hold it like this, and then put the hook, and then hip escape, and then get my position, try to get the hook, I can't. Extension, get the hook, okay? So you guys wanna know how to get the back and put the hooks in successfully. It can be a big challenge sometimes when you have a tough opponent. Stuff the head, cover the head. So when he's driving on the takedown, he can't. Drives all the way up to his feet. He's trying to take you down, okay? Pulling this guy back down, seat belt, hips in. Walking around, he goes full turtle. I can't get my foot in between. He's not letting me, what do I do? Shoulder in the back of the head. Drop him down, get up on my elbow. He tries to get up, my leg is between the legs. You gotta catch that, Maria. We're gonna have to do it one more time for them. Drive the knee inside. Try to bring the knees to the chest. Try, yeah. I got the hook in, hip escape, lock, extension, and attack for the two hooks. And then attack the neck. One last time. Try to get the backside, yeah. Okay, so right here, he's coming forward, I'm stuffing the head, I get my seatbelt. I walk around, he balls up, he balls up. So now, when I drop on my side, he tries to hurry to get back to his knees. I drop him, my leg is between the legs. He tries to hustle and turtle, so I can't get hooks. All I needed was this. Now, drive the knee inside, he tries to pull me to his chest, hook goes in. Now I extend, two hooks, attack the neck, and it's all over. Jesse, what's up? Talk to me. That's good stuff. Back tech series is killing it. All right, guys. This is a simple uh, way to take the back using your hooks. Um, you know, you want to know this, this technique. In wrestling, we call the Iowa ride when we hook it all the way. I don't really like to put my leg all the way. Again, wrestlers do it that way when they put the hooks in in a wrestling match, but it's kind of dangerous when you have a guy rolling for knee bars. Even if you have a good seat belt, Guys can still roll for the knee bar. 
that are really squirrely. If you have those guys, you want to watch out because they will still roll. You'll have a seatbelt and they'll get your leg and it can create problems. So I prefer to just use my ankle, kind of a shallow little hook and then you'll be able to control his ankle and you'll be able to get your first hook in. Once you get the first hook, second hook's coming. Choke is coming next. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. I think that's it. Jesse's fight's coming up. We got to keep getting ready. Thank you guys for all the support. Teach me grappling. Click the link down below in the description box and contribute to this channel. And I'll be back for more next time with more great stuff.